Do you know what they call this? Gasworks. What do they call this hill? Gasworks Hill. Hill? They call this hill Kite Hill. Kite Hill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. When you look around, doesn't this hill seem a little out of place to you? It does. It looks a little unnatural thinking about it now. Mm, I thought it was an old factory. So what do you think if I tell you that this big unnatural looking pile that you're sitting on top of is actually where they just scooped up all of the industrial waste, like the leftovers from industrial gas, gasification from coal and tar, and that's what underlies this hill that you're sitting here eating that apple on right now. Right. Whoa! It makes sense, the whole story of Gasworks now, I guess. Right. Two <laughs> feet down, the soil here has been tested and it's shown to be carcinogenic. Oh, oh, oh good. Lovely. I did only two feet, that's surprising to me. Wait, what does carcinogenic mean? Wow. Carcinogenic okay. means <laughs> if you had long exposure to it over okay. a long period of time, okay. it could cause cancer. How, d yeah, what's in between, what's in that two feet? A protective layer of soil. Okay. Uh, so, having just heard all that, how we're not, that we're not coming back. <laughs> no. I mean, I think it's kind of genius. I mean, they could have done anything with it. They could have thrown it in the water. I don't know much about how it's going to impact the environment, but I think it's kind of cool that it's this like weird hybrid green area now. I think it's cool. I did, I did not know that there was stuff under Like I think it would have been easier to just let sit and not solve, but they turn it into some place like a, like a park and it's green as opposed to being this pile of cars, like whatever, waste. It's like something that was there and then you think it's gone, and but it's just two feet underground. So it's super cool. Yeah, I think I think I can't really give up the view here. It's pretty incredible. It's such a Seattle staple that I think that it's not gonna make too much of a difference for me. If it ever like breaks the ground, then we'll see, but. Okay, so here's the takeaway from this. I had a phone conversation with one of the lead researchers from the Washington Department of Ecology that did some testing up there four years ago and found that some of the material near the top wasn't clean, and they covered it since then. You might remember, it was in the news a few years ago. There's about two feet of a protective layer of soil up there. So the takeaway is, go enjoy the view. You're fine. Just don't eat the soil. And if you bring a little kid up there 